All right. Testing, testing. One, two, three, four. All right. It's going to be, I think it's that one that has to be white balanced. Give the link. I'm cutting it black for now. Uh, no, we're uh, just making sure. It's, I mean, open up the iris. It's not that, it's the white iris. balance. No, it's the white balance. No, it's this that one. Yep. Hello, hello. Hey, call me, call me, call me. We're live. All right. And a pleasant good afternoon to everybody, wherever you may be. And we apologize for the technical difficulties, but welcome to the UPMC Lemieux Complex. Tyler Gallo and John Hanna alongside you on Colonial Sports Network as we get ready for the RME Celebrity Hockey Game. Now, John, the stars are shining bright here. This is a great event putting on. I mean, what are you looking forward to today? I'm just looking forward to hockey. I mean, you know, we haven't had, I know you play D3 hockey. Yeah, that's right. But we haven't had, you know, D1 level talent. I mean, I guess, I guess Roman Kramer, or not Roman Kramer, excuse me. Uh, yeah. Yeah, sorry. Roman Kramer's been playing on the D1 club team. That's I've right. seen him, him score, I think it was four goals uh, once. Uh, but, you know, it's nice to finally see D1 level talent on the ice. And as you said, we're here at the Lemieux Complex. Uh, you know, yeah, and a great I mean, opportunity overall. John, just what a crazy roster we have on both. Some of the best and brightest in RMU Colonials history are on the alumni side, of course. And on the other side, we got some NHLers. We got some local, you know, celebrities, some local, you know, radio people. And just all, all together, a great um, outing for RMU hockey. This should be great yeah. to watch. And I know, you know, we, we uh, already spoke with Jacob and Ali on, on the bench. Uh, oh, right. Preps did. So that'll be nice, you know. Uh, check out Colonial Sport, RMU underscore CSN on Twitter for that. But, you know, it's just great to be back and watching hockey again. That's right, Sean. And we're really excited for this game to start, obviously. Take a look at some of the lineups. I believe that Carrick Davis is going to get the start in net for the alumni team. He seems to be the only one in goalie gear on the other side. And then it looks like uh, Travis Marzina, also known as at PGH Trav on Twitter. From the X start Radio in. is going to be on uh, Yeah. In net He's going to be in goal tonight. And, of course, I'm Tyler Gallo alongside Jonathan Hanna. I'm on play-by-play -play tonight, and John Hanna will be on color. And so we got, sorry for the, you know, technical difficulties with the stream with the reverse numbers. Uh, yeah. You know, we, uh, we're Student-run student media. What can right. you expect? But, uh, you know, hey, we have it for you if you're not in the stands. And, you know, the amount of – I mean, I see a, the Clark Griswold jersey right in front of us. Yeah. Uh, Ron Hextall Nordiques as well. So, you know, just a great blend of, you know – RMU fans and hockey fans, and you know, there's someone I really have to shout out for this. You know, who's that? Adam Maluso. Yeah, uh, probably watching live from Buffalo, New York. He really got this whole thing started with creating that uh, RMU hockey petition. So you know, yes, 
one of us, I'm sure he would have loved to be where we are right now. Oh, exactly. But, you know, Adam Maluso, nice job. You know, you're the re- you're pretty much the reason this whole thing started. That's right. And shortly this game will get underway. You got about two minutes left in warm-ups and maybe a couple of uh, theatrics before the game. I see uh, St- Andrew Stocky. Now, I love his jersey name. It says Stocky on Hockey. Now, that's incredible. But we got some great names on the back of these jerseys, and we'll figure out who they are as we go along. Yeah, but, I mean, you know, uh, I heard uh, Bill Peduto not playing right now. Yeah. Uh, so, Mr. Mayor, uh, also Mr. Former Mayor, as, uh, but uh, that's that's neither here nor there. Uh, I haven't caught sight. I see on the you know roster, uh, I haven't seen Iceberg, Romo, or the Pirate Parrot yet. So that would be. Uh, we'll have to be you know watching out for some of them. Uh, but I doubt they're going to take the ice just because uh, yeah. I tried to see Romo skate a time or two, and let me tell you, it is not pretty. Yeah, so, you know, it's going to be a good one. Uh, we've got some the best players in Colonials history, of course. Recently, Kirsten Welsh, uh, you know, she has been in the news all like all over the place refereeing. And, you know, she's been in the OHL. She became the first, I believe it was in AHL history. Yeah, uh, first Lions in person, AHL history first as well. First being person. So this should be great. Should be a great um, out. And we see Nolan Schaefer, who played last year, Ali Ebert, players that we know, and Nick Lalonde also played last year, so... It's going to be some familiar faces and some that we haven't gotten to see. And right there really. at center ice uh, is the one and only Matt Geica, where number 20, one of yeah, the former. Yeah, that's right. Uh, one of the only two players on this team, uh, or on the alumni team, that never technically played. Uh, Matt Geica was the SID for two years with RMU. And, that's right. Uh, you know, he really was just a, such a great help to us. Right, Tyler? Oh, yeah. He, I mean, he set us up with some of the best interviews, set on, on, I really appreciate his time here. He's moved on to bigger and brighter things, of course. We see the celebrity side now. Their jerseys are a bit interesting. They got the black and gold of Pittsburgh. And then, of course, on the alumni side, classic RMU colored jerseys with the star on the shoulders, which we'll see all game long. We're prepared to bring you coverage all day and future games as well. Yeah, um, and uh, I mean, what's interesting with this uh, alumni team is you see some players with red pants. I noticed that. Uh, yeah. Ali Ebert, Denny Urban wearing red pants, uh, Maggie Legue. So it's not just the women because the women did usually wear the red pants. But That's right. It's interesting to see some of the you know red pants for the men's side, men's players over there as well. Yeah. So well, like we said, we'll have coverage all as uh, warm just end. I believe it's going to be two 30-minute periods. So we'll have the call for the entire game as we get set to go. Uh, we know we have a bit of supplied the referees and linesmen. I know Ian McLean is one of them. That's but we're going to do the national anthem. It's going to be performed today by Justin Fabus, a local area singer, and uh, we're going to be ready to go. So we'll turn it over to him yeah. and the starting You're lineups. Right, Tyler, who's your pick for the first goal uh, for the alumni team that's a non-NHL player? I'm gonna, I have a strange feeling that Andrew Stocky is going to go out there and put in a big goal, although I do think Sean Sweesham has a chance. See, I'm going with there. another, uh, you know, really athletic guy. I'm going uh, with Brett Kiesel. I think yeah. – uh, I think, you know, RMU goalies, Imagine that. Uh, I think, you know, Carrick Davis is really going to feel fear the beard going into this one. <laughs> That's what's on and the you, back of his jersey. And you see him right behind the net there, uh, yeah. you know, number 99 and that big old beard that, you know, Pittsburgh really loved. So. Yeah, and we'll turn it over to the starting lineups. I believe it's going to be Larry Snyder, the PA announcer, who's going to turn it over. So we'll send you over to that. I don't know if you guys will be able to hear it, but if bear not, with we'll, us. Uh, yeah, we'll be able to relay the message upon to you. And, you know, actually, Tyler, speaking of jerseys, there's, a, there's a, a Andrew Blazek jersey right in front of us. Which, That's awesome. You know, one of those you don't expect to see very often. Well, it's probably his friends and family, you know, not shocked. You see the whole band behind the uh, starting lineup in the other corner. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if you can hear that, but there's a lot of people here in support of RMU hockey. I mean, this, is, this place is packed to the brim right now. It just shows how much people support this team. Yeah, it's just, you know, I'm not going to talk about it now because obviously we have 60 minutes a game to cover but we'll talk about you know some of our favorite moments yeah. as you know members of rmu not only is media covering it but also is just fans that's right. watching it so yeah that's right so we thank you again for tuning in here on colonial sports network if you want more coverage of the ongoing hockey situation or just any rmu sport make sure you follow us at rmu underscore csn on twitter at colonial sports network on instagram and make sure you follow along we're really going to bring all the content from this game, of course, as we have the coverage all over the place. Owen Krebs is going to be writing about this. And of course, we're on the broadcast, but now we have the starting lineups, as you can see on the screen. Cheers. 
and that, and you just heard that. That's going to be something we hear a lot with, especially with these uh, with the alumni team, with people wearing the same numbers. Yeah, I mean, Ali Ebert and Kirsten Welsh both wearing number four. Uh, it's going to be an interesting, you know, blend of names and numbers and things you don't really expect to see. Yeah, that's right. Mm. There's, we, there's three number fours on the alumni team, and there's also a couple of 33s and 44s. So Brianna McLaughlin is listed on both sides. I wonder if she'll be switching teams midway through, of course. I and, don't know, because you know, I, I only see two uh, goalies dressed right now. That's right. Uh, obviously, it's uh, Carrick Davis for the men, for the alumni. And, uh, you know, it's going to be interesting to see how that all, of, all works out. That's right. And this game's going to be a good one as we see some of the players that made this program what they are. And, you know, some of the local city people that everybody needs, seems to know here in the Pittsburgh area. So we're excited for this to start and get underway. And, and here we get a loud round of applause from Matt Geica. John, you're going to be all over Matt Geica today. I can just already tell. And uh, I don't think you can see him on camera right now, but uh, just off to the, I guess that'd be the right side with the switched camera on here. We have uh, the Pirate Parrot, so you know, glad to see Pittsburgh support, especially with the uh, alumni right here. That's right, John. This is going to be a good event nonetheless, and we're excited for it to start. Uh, a lot of theatrics at the beginning, obviously, as you'll see with most of these games, but it's a good event for a good cause, and hopefully they raise a lot of money. There's the silent au – not the silent auction. I don't know how silent it really is, but it's outside. And uh, just announced right now, Ryan Malone. Uh, yeah, that's – Big name, uh, obviously, you know. I mean, yeah, Pittsburgh area legend. Yeah, you Pittsburgh, mean, Pittsburgh hockey legend. You know, Ryan Malone, just one of those guys that, you know, just – when you think about who Pittsburgh hockey is, Ryan Malone is one of those names that comes to mind. It's Colby Armstrong as well. Got a big hand. Legendary Pittsburgh Penguins player and, of course, Atlanta Thrashers player as he went along in his career. But, you know, a couple of other you, NHLers on this team. You wonder if some of these, like, media guys, guys like, you know, uh, Stoney Richards, Steve Munter, and if if they played hockey before. Because, obviously, we know what uh, Ryan Malone and Colby Armstrong, Eric Tang Grady bring to the table. Even, you know, yeah, Jamie right. Hunt, who only played one NHL game, but... It'll be interesting to see what these guys bring to the table. Absolutely. And, you know, I think just the 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 greatness that, you know, I mean, you hear the hand for Phil Bork that he got yeah, right now. And, it's uh, You know, notice, notice what Phil Bork isn't wearing right now? What's that? A helmet. Oh, yeah. He's grandfathered in, so he doesn't have to worry about it. That's how it works, right? Yeah, I think so. And, yeah, I mean, uh, a grandfathered in as a grandfather. So, you know, just think about that as we go along. But. You know, he got a huge hand. I don't know if our mics will do it any justice, but there's a lot of people here. Oh, oh, Brian McLaughlin's skating. Yeah, that. She's not playing Pendy. She's a skater tonight. Well, that's going to be impressive. Maybe that's why she's on both sides today. She got a huge hand in the stands. And uh, Tim Benz, you know, not that standing ovation, uh, not turning up. 
on the ice, so he may come in and, you know, take a, uh, take a celebrity costume. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. I don't know how good we're, we're coming through on the mics here, but uh, hopefully you guys can hear us. And Bill Peduto also gets a stick tap, but uh, also not on the ice. Yeah, that's right. Josh gets off and outs it for the Pittsburgh Penguins. I've met him a few times in my internship. He's a great guy, and he's going to be taking the ice. Wonder if he'll be centering a line of uh, Phil Bork and Steve Mears. Yeah, it's just nice to see, you know, this whole. Uh, also, uh, yeah, the blue. I mean, my gloves weren't that blue, John, but that's those are nice. I mean, Brett Kiesel. Yeah, he does not fit in that uniform whatsoever. But it should be uh should be fun to see him go out there. And of course, Ollie posted in and Jacob R down from on the bench are here. I'm shocked they made it out here for this today, but this is great for the kids and everybody that recognizes them from social media. Just their presence online has been great for the hockey community. And he skates about as well as I do. Yeah, that's right. So I wonder if they're going to actually be playing out there. Who knows? I don't know. It'll be it doesn't look like they're wearing much pads. But, uh, that's right. That's right. It'll be interesting to see. And as you hear now, you know, Pirate Parrot, Ice Road. Yeah, so once again, we thank everybody for tuning in. Game is going to get underway in just a, just a little bit. I wonder what they uh, – we'll have Justin Fabus out here for the National Anthem. We'll have the camera on that as we go along. And all the coverage for you here today on Colonial Sports Network. Just ready, ready to go. Once again, Tyler Gallo and John Hanna here with you at the UPMC Lemieux Sports Complex. I mean, this is two hours, three hours of commercial-free hockey. Yeah, and it's just, you know – Fun hockey. Fun it's hockey, absolutely. No, you know, it's here, fun. Absolutely. Ready to watch this, ready to get underway. I know I keep saying that, but we've been waiting for this for a couple weeks now. And a big round of applause there for the Robert Moore. I know you're always a staple. That's right. Staple at most events, too. You know, they bring the heat when it comes to football, basketball, and hockey as well, and all the other sports on campus that require a band to be there, really. I mean, we heard them at the football game yesterday. They were making some noise, and even and you know, number eight Kennesaw State did not feel at home, even with their fans in the stands. So we said it. Turn it over to Justin Fabus for the national anthem. The rendition of the National Anthem by Justin Fabus sets the tone for what should be a great game out there on the ice. Yeah, Ready to get it underway, Tyler, John. I just want to interrupt one quick. You mentioned the other game you know, that RMU has. Uh, I just want to point out RMU soccer currently tied with Milwaukee. Nil-nil. Uh, they're in the first quarter. I think they're out, you know, 
Jane that only scored one goal. Yes. Uh, something tells me we're going to see a couple more goals than that tonight. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I wonder how many we'll actually see as we got the face off. Derek Schooley's going to hold this ceremonial puck drop. Looks like Jacob Ardown wants to go out there. Maybe all, all and Brian McLaughlin are all out there ready uh, to take it. it. Maybe they're giving her pointers. With Brendan Jameson of, uh, you know, the alumni team. And Derek Schooley always, always a good interview. Have a good absolutely. There. Do you know what award Derek Schooley won? He won Grinder of the Year 1994 as a member of Western Michigan. So, you know, just always great to see Derek Schooley here. Yeah. Uh, Paul Cavino now coaching up at Bishop Clark, Washington. Yeah. Uh, so, fortunately, he's not here today. So is, it, is it Rochester or is it Irondequoit? Uh, so, it's technically Irondequoit, but Rochester is the over-encompassing area. All right, all right. Uh, but women's hockey is well represented coaching-wise as well with Nate Hanrahan, former RMU hockey women's head coach, is now on the alumni team tonight wearing number 24. Yeah, so they'll get their last skate ins around as we get started for this game here on Colonial Sports Network. And like you said, John, with the men's soccer team, you know, it was so shocking they made it this far in the season. After last season, they really struggled. And not to any fault of their own, they had to play off campus indoors with a low ceiling. But this team has really turned it around. And with uh, great help from their, you know, their sophomore forward, Brian Akonga, who's just had an incredible season for this team. And as yep. they look to win in the MKE. Yeah, but, you know, now we're going to turn it to the – Real action here. That's right. That's title. right. We're not in Milwaukee. We're in Cranberry, ready for this game to start. So it looks like Denny Urban and Nick Chavetta are going to start out there with Josh Jones. We'll see what line. We'll see who starts out there for the uh, for the the I blue see, the black see, and gold uh, out there. I see Tyler Kennedy out there. Obviously. Oh boy! Uh, looks like Tyler Kennedy, Eric Tang, Grady. Uh, and, and Colby Armstrong and Phil Bork are also out there. Uh, and strategy. Oh, there we go. Finally, the fifth man hopped over the boards there for the alum for the uh, Pittsburgh All Stars. Yeah, it's gonna be uh, out there. It's gonna be Chris Mack. Chris uh, Mack or, with the late line change. Yeah. So we're ready to go here at the Col uh, UPMC the Mu Complex. It's one back by Tangrade. He gets it across the board. Bork on the outside to Armstrong. Armstrong holds it for a little bit and sauces it over to Tyler Kennedy, who breaks it in the zone. Kennedy with no visor on as he drapes back. It's an intercepted by Zach Lynch. Taken in front here by Mack. He loses it. And once again, try to be skating out here by David Friedman. Friedman downing number eight today as it comes around the boards to Chevetta or Denny Urban. Urban, one of the best RMU defensemen in history in terms of points, John. And he's going to skate it up forward. Urban across the blue line. He's flanked here by Armstrong. Gets in down low. Passes it in front. Here's a shot, and it's it's sticked aside there by goaltender Travis Marzina. Behind the net. Control here for a little bit. Skated it out. Tangrady fires it down low. It's going to be behind the net and collected here by Josh Jones. Jones will begin the breakout. Long pass here to Denny Urban, who's got a head of steam. Urban moves past there by Ryan Malone, wearing Bugsy on the back of his jersey, his nickname. And taken behind the net, Ollie, or Jacob Ardown is going to skate it forward. He is on the ice with no helmet. But his classic red hat, John. Yeah, it's uh surprised they let him on his lead. Oh, and tries to center it for him, and it's stopped there by Carrick Davis. And that will do it for the first stoppage here in this game. Also, uh, you mentioned the 30 minutes. It looks like it's going to be a running. I run out. So. Not surprised about that, but Ryan Malone on the draw. He's there with uh, a number. Uh, Josh Getzoff is out there with him. And Chris Max also out there as well. And then Ollie and Jacob on the blue line. Yeah, beyond the Right in front, and it's sick this time by Davis. Here is R down on the point. Puts it in low, Jacob. Nice little pass. Intercepted away, and it's taken out of the zone. Skated forward. Here's a chance for Veshi. Veshi in alone, and it's intercepted and taken away by Malone. Good defense there. On the low line, here's Jillian Thompson. Thompson collects it and fires it down low. Zola to Geitka. Matt Geitka with a pass down low. In front, he tries to get it and could not center the pass or collect the puck on the blue line. Now Josh gets off, brings it forward. Gets off in the zone across the blue line. And I steer to Chris Mack. Mack puts it for the score! Oh, what a goal! Redirect by Josh gets off, John. And it's one nothing celebrity. And Josh gets off. There's your bingo card. If you had Josh gets off scoring the first goal, he is number one. One yeah, nothing celebs. I wonder. Oh, and. 
looks like there might be a, another uh, defenseman out there for yeah. uh, the alumni, the Pirate Parrot. Uh, you know, maybe you'll see a bad end ball from the Parrot. Wouldn't surprise me. McLaughlin wins the face-off. She's out there with Andrew Stocky, and it looks like also Jamie Hunt, former NHL, and uh, three Otters forward. Here's Blazik. Blazik in. Mars. No one collected. And he skated out of the zone. Nope, taken at the point. Fired back in by Brennan Jamison along the blue line. Here on the near side, on the point, Jillian Thompson fires is blocked. And Bram McLaughlin tried to skate it out. Now she's normally a goalie, but playing forward in this game. Blazik, pass in front. Now she's normally a goalie, but playing forward in this game. Blazik, pass in front. Once again, block. Rebound saved there by Marzina and the Parrot. We'll fly it out, and I'm not going to get used to saying that tonight. I wonder if we'll see Roma on the ice. I know I mentioned, you know, we hadn't seen him, but, you know, the Pirate Parrot John the skates, which... That is just unbelievable. Here's Thompson firing forward to Nick Lalonde. Lalonde across to Blazik. Blazik's got a chance. Fires oh. off the post! And it's going to be skated out here by Jamie Hunt. Hunt, former NHL player, skates it forward into the zone. He's got a head of steam. Controls it behind the net into the corner on the near side. Back towards the point. Here's McLaughlin and couldn't handle it as she's behind the net. She'll fire it around, hoping for the Parrot. That's got to be an imposing presence out there on the blue line. Tried to skate it out and cannot get it. Here's Maggie Legue with a chance, and it's taken away again by the celebrities. You have to wonder who's in, who's in the parrot costume right now. Yeah, uh, Andros with a nice move. Steve Mears couldn't control the puck, and it's down low once again. Here's a chance in front. Brett Kiesel almost had the chance on goal, but couldn't. And now it's a breakout for the alumni. Here's Maggie Legue with David Freeman on the side to pass across, and it's blocked. And Colby Armstrong's just going to settle it down. Armstrong, not nearly as fast as he probably was in the NHL. Here's a breakaway for Phil Bork. He's in. What a move. And it's taken away here by the alumni. Carrick Davis is like, -uh, no way. That's great, not going great in. Great save there by Davis. But Tyler. Here's another oh, chance. Another chance here. Hands or hand shoots it just wide. Just an incredible start to the action here. Steve Mears brings it across the blue line. TV announcer for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Kiesel. Rumbling, stumbling, bumbling down low below the blue, the uh, goal line. And now the alumni will begin the offensive. Here's a long pass to Handrahan, who's got no one near him. And he'll take control behind the net, tries to get a pass in front, but cannot. And Colby Armstrong begins to start. Eric Tangrady recently played with the New Jersey Devils in the NHL. I believe it was two years ago, or last year, I can't recall. So many random players played for that team recently. Here's a pass. Colby Armstrong in alone. Nice move. Backhander just goes wide. Steve Mears looks to take it after. Alumni once again skate it out. Shavetta forward. Oh, almost a breakaway for Zach Lynch, but it goes off his skate and out, and Tank Grady will, will recover. Long pass for Gennady, but he couldn't get to it. And, John, I mean, well, what, are, what are we seeing out here for the first couple minutes of this game? I mean, it's been fast-paced. Obviously, the uh, lone goal and then the running clock anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But it's just interesting to see. Obviously, they're not going all out. It's sort of like watching the NHL All-Star game. Right. Or like watching a beer league game, which this is, I mean, it's its, it's around that. There's a shot off the post. Look, that was Zach Lynch. I mean, skill level is a bit up from that, that's for sure. Yeah, but the one thing I've seen, Tyler, is just obviously you and I have been here for four years now. We're seniors. Yeah. But, you know, the level of hockey history that RMU has is still being such a new university as right. well. Because, I mean, there's what? There's a, only a handful of guys on this alumni team that we've – seen play. Right. Uh, Nolan Schaefer, uh, Jillian Thompson, Ali Ebert, Kirsten Welsh. Here's Danny oh. Urban skating it forward. One of those guys tries to pass it in front but cannot. Urban, you know, got some speed to him back when he was on the team. Welsh rips a slapper. It's tipped in front and stopped by Marzina. And that's that cannon we remember when she was here, John. Yeah, the only other person I wouldn't want Kirsten Welsh and Emily Curlett, the You're two right. slap shots I would not want to get in front of. So uh, Emily Curlett, probably one of the hardest shots in the NCAA, that's for sure. Yeah. And she's now on with OSU, Ohio State, alongside Lexi Templeman. And, and other Reagan and Reagan Kirk, Kirk absolutely. And, uh, you know, Urban wins it back to Thompson. Thompson gets the fast cross to Brandon Jamison. Along the blue line, shot, sticked aside by Marzina. Down low below, and they missed the net. Now they'll try to skate it out. Ryan Malone passes forward. And I have a feeling that Tyler Kennedy is going to go all out in this game. He's Tyler, that guy. Tyler Kennedy always goes all oh, out. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I'll admit, I used to get Tyler Kennedy a bit mixed up with uh, And, uh, true. Yeah. 
So it looks like we're going to have uh, Derek Schooley here on us, former co or current coach of men's hockey at RMU. Uh, Derek, thanks so much for joining me today. No, thanks for, for, for coming and doing this. And obviously this is a, uh, Look at the crowd here. It's yeah. unbelievable, isn't it? It's awesome. And, you know, what? how much does this event, I mean, mean to the program, not only you, but just the program as a whole? Well, I mean, you look at this has all been done in about five weeks. And you got close to a 1,000 people here. Look at the celebrities that you have uh, from Brett Kiesel to all the Stanley Cup winners to, I mean, you can't say enough. And then you got our, all of our alums that have come back to support this event. And it's it's been outstanding. And I'm I'm really pleased and the game is not uh, what it used to be for some of these guys that's right but uh <laughs> it's fun and and girls as well yeah I mean, the girls are um you know we just yep, we gotta go oh, oh ashley man. Beshi almost that's close almost had a chance uh-oh oh now here's ryan malone moving it forward he's got a two-on-one with ollie from bar down for on the bench here's a move ollie oh. off the post and he catches his own rebound so i, I mean i want to start my play-by-play uh, -play career right now yeah Hopefully we can keep this going because I'm not a very good play-by-play -play guy. That's all good. I got you for that. Um, so, I mean, how much does it mean for those guys, the on-the-bench crew, a notorious social media presence to be here for this game? Well, I, I can't say enough about Ryan Malone. And uh, oh, we got a breakaway. Yeah, it's a breakaway Hunt. chance. Nice move and a uh, save by Carrick Davis. Yeah, he played at Mercyhurst. He played one game in the NHL. Yeah. But, uh, no, we got uh, to have the on the bench guys here, Ryan Malone has been outstanding online. He knows them and we're able to get them yeah. to come. And they were in Chicago and we got the mayor of the city of Pittsburgh here. <laughs> and I mean, good on the list of the people that are here and uh, what fun. Uh, yeah. It's exciting. It seems like a lot of fun and it's been a lot of fun already. Did you have Josh Getzoff scoring the first goal on your bingo card? I did not have that in my pool. And I, I think that people were talking about that on, online that they were going to try to do that and um, I, I don't think Josh gets left or maybe even the pirate parrot yeah that oh if, imagine parrot if the parrot, parrot yeah that would have been incredible um but yeah Jamie Hunt out there as well parrot with a chance here in front and a save by Carrick Davis who is just standing a bit tall here in the first half oh this is uh this is great well I'll let you guys get back to the broadcast but thank you guys for everything yeah absolutely done throughout this process and Hopefully we'll be having real hockey here in, uh, next fall. Yeah, well, thank you so much, Derek, for joining us, and hopefully we have hockey here again. We'll turn it back over to John Hanna. Thanks again, Derek. So, yeah, I mean, uh, sorry to interrupt your little point there, but Derek Schooley just comes in and takes over. Yeah, I mean, when, when the head coach comes in, you kind of have to. Yeah, you kind of have to uh, just let him, let him uh, take over. Pass back to the point. The old 2-9er Phil Borg rips it. And Carrick Davis has looked impressive to me. He's trying. He's, he's moving it quick out there. I mean, that one goal was a tough one to stop. And now here's the alumni moving it forward. Blazik. You know who's really impressed me, Tyler? Who's that? Travis Marzina. Yeah. Uh, also, is you have to wonder, did Rand get many pointers? Or I believe, so I believe he played goalie growing up. Okay. Um, I, I recall him saying that some at some point. But uh, – I don't think he's he's no slouch there in net, that's for sure. And now here's Blazing with a one on one with Colby Armstrong. It looks like he's never played a game in his life. Pass in front, backhander, Marzina pokes it away. Well, you say Colby Armstrong never played a game in his life, Tyler, but you have to remember. Colby Armstrong was a four. Man. That's right, a oh. shot score! Oh, what a goal! Andrew Blazik ties the game up at one. What a rocket off the post, just as we were talking about Marzina being good in net, John. How Colby Armstrong normally at forward now in defense, but what a shot there by Andrew Blazek, as you were saying. That was a rocket right there, a rocket from not the guy they call the rocket because uh, Larry Larry Richard is known as the rocket on the street on the uh, the uh, team. So now we see someone that recently played Gavin Goulash out there. He played last year with this team, the team that won the Western Pod of the AHA, but the Western Division. What we should actually call it. Brett Kiesel moving the puck. He's got those neon green laces. And it's in the zone. McLaughlin taken out and a nice move there. And foots forward by Nolan Schaefer. Here's a chance for the alumni. Three on two breaking in. He's got Goulash in front. Oh, just wide. What a chance. So the old two-niner flips it forward to Andros. Andros turns around. He looks pretty good on the skates. Moved in the zone. Mears fires and a glove save by Carrick Davis. What an impressive save there. So far, the I mean, everyone on the alumni team and, and the, uh, you know, celebrity team for not potentially not playing in the past couple of years. Yeah. Uh, the, the worst skater I've seen so far is Brett Kiesel. But that's also because, you know, he's, he's always he's, uh, a uh, stance, so Yeah. It's a bit difficult for him to turn up and skate. But you want to face off uh, last, last time out, so 
So I, as much as their social media presence will tell you, I know um, Ollie and Jacob are actually putting in a hockey. Here's a move in front. It's the same. I believe they played ACHA Division One or Division Three in their lifetimes. Um, no slouches out there on the ice as well, as much as their social media tell, uh, presence tell you otherwise. There's Jillian Thompson, a nice poke check from Steve Mears behind the net. Right, they were able to uh, get Pavel out here. Yeah, Pavel Barber, one of the slickest hands of the social media hockey players we've ever seen. So here's Andros moving it in. He's pretty quick out there. Eric Tangrady moving in front. Nice little move. Puts it back on the point. Here's Jacob from on the bench holding it. Rips it, and that's going to go out of play into the netting, and we'll have a stoppage in play. So, yeah, we thank uh, Derek Schooley for coming on the broadcast here with us. It's impressive. Wish we could, uh, I wish I could hear, you know, what he said, but it's just so loud in here. Uh, currently, the score is 1-1 with 16.45 remaining in the first period. Uh, it has been, you know, it was Josh Getzov and also uh, and, uh, Andrew Blazik. Yeah. Blazik firing one off the pipe and gets off just with a nice little tip in front. Here's a chance in front, taken away there by Friedman, and he's going to begin the breakout. we got a four on two here. Not if Thompson doesn't say anything about it. She'll move back a little bit on her defensive position. Friedman, chance. Oh, what a glove save! What a stop by that, Travis Marzina! That gets six hats from everybody. That was impressive. Save. It's a shame we can't show the replay right there. Because, I mean, what a stop by Marzina. And, John, as I said before, no slouch in net. No. I couldn't. I'd get hurt. I pulled the hammy just watching that. You know, John, I played goalie one time in my life. We tied 11 to 11. I stopped 50 shots. But, man, that was a scary experience in my life. Here's another chance. And Marzina stands tall once more. So they'll begin the move out here. Thompson controls it at the neutral zone. She'll move back past the FedEx logo behind the blue line. Long pass forward and tipped into the zone by Nate Handerhand, uh, currently the head coach of Chat Chatham Women's Hockey. And who, former, obviously, a former RMU Women's Hockey coach before taking over with Paul Cantino. Freeman in front, Handerhand, save, I, rebound, I, score! Oh, sorry, I, I took your yeah, what the heck, John? Come on. Pass in front, and there's a nice goal in front there by a number nine, Nick Chavetta. Comes in and scores the goal, and it's 2-1. to one. The alumni take the lead. So after Josh Getzoff got them onto a hot start, the alumni yeah. take over. That's, uh, you know, Chavetta's technically 20th goal in an RMU sweater. Had 19 in his collegiate career from 2008 to 2011. 23 assists, 22 points total. So, you know, great career with RMU. And Good setup by Handerhan out there as well. Pirate Parrot moves it forward. Yes, that's right. Pirate Parrot. Ryan Malone's going to chase it down again. Looking like he hasn't played in a while, which is true. A couple Stanley Cups to his name on the point. Chance in front, no. Corralled by the alumni. Flip forward, and Nick Chavetta's going to break it forward. He's got a 2 on 0. Pass in front, score! And that is back and forth. How about Chavetta to Friedman and Friedman to Chavetta? As we would say in Brooklyn, 9 9, 9 9. What a goal right there. And uh, 3 1, and just as we were talking about the skill level of Marzina and Net, I mean, that was tough to stop. First one went off the post. Second one was Pope, and third one was Cross Crease. Yeah, uh, Cross Crease right there. Those are tough to stop nonetheless. And uh, what a goal that was. Face off at center ice, Denny Urban and Ryan Malone. Malone wins it back to the Pirate Parrot, who loses it. And it's taken away by Josh Jones. Jones to Denny Urban. Urban back down low, trying to get it to him. And now there's a break. And Tyler Kennedy with a head of steam. He moves forward. He's got Malone with him. Pass across, and it's kicked aside. Shot in front, another save there by Carrick Davis. Again, 3-1 to lead here for the alumni team with uh, just over 13 minutes remaining. Shot by Malone off the side of the net and behind. Wayson Rice tries to stop Malone, but he's just tanking through these people here. Bugsy gets it low to Pirate Parrot. Here's Jamie Hunt controlling at the top of the circle. Back across to Malone. He's looking for a lane. Hunt lost it. Good poke check there by Zach Lynch. By the way, Zach Lynch, one of the top five scorers in RMU hockey history. And his brother Luke wasn't a slouch either. No, 100 career points for him and more. Here's Brandon Jameson. Passes it back to Urban. Urban in front. Jones with a shot off the pipe. Oh, what a shot. Nearly got by Marzina. He's got those slick white pads. Nice. I like him. The TK line is out there. Brennan Jamison looking for a lane. Can't get to it. 
Danny Urban working hard out there. He's hooked up a little bit. No call on the play. Yeah, no call on the play. Here's Tyler Kennedy, who's going to go on a breakaway. He's got Jamie Hunt with him. Fix a slapper across the hunt. Oh, what a save. Carrick Davis, another stop in front. And he stands tall to keep the uh, celebrities off the board. Ali Hebert has it below. One of three Hebert's who have played That's on right. the Colonials. Uh, brothers uh, Cam and... Uh... Yeah. yeah just... Cam and Grant Hebert both played for the team. There it is, John. Here's Danny Urban. Flip pass in front and could not get to it. Yeah, it was. A long 20-minute drive up to Cranberry, I'm sure. Near the Burgatory logo, Denny Urban looks for the pass saved by Marzina. And Colby Armstrong, arm dog, will take it out of the zone. Pass across here. Looking for Brian McLaughlin, the Olympian. Skated out by Nolan Schaefer. Again, a recent player is Phil Bork. Bork to McLaughlin. Across the blue line. Looking for a chance in front. In front and just wide. Nice little center rebound. Another save by Carrick Davis. It's loose and it comes out and it looks like Ali Ebert lost her helmet. But it's back at the point. Armstrong with a soft shot to Bork and it's taken away. And we got a two-on-one developing. Ashley Vesci moves it out. She's got Matt Geica, the former SID, with her. Shot off the post. Wow. Well, I thought that was in. I mean, you know, you know what the goalie's best friend is? The post, we've seen that quite a bit, that John. This afternoon, actually. There we go. I got it right there. I know some things. Here's Nolan Schaefer across center ice. Pass across is picked off there by Tango. Eric Tangrady is in alone here on Carrick Davis, who stood tall this far. The move and another save by Carrick Davis as he hit the side of the net. And uh, Carrick Davis earning himself an NHL contract, huh? Yeah, it looks like it, even though, you know, last Whoa. Night, Be through the glove, Jessica Gazzola got a shot on net. Marzina made the save. Glove. Yeah. Picks it back up. Some theatrics, that's for sure. Here's Armstrong, or here's Tangrady moving in with McLaughlin back to the old two niner. A shot and a glove save by Carrick Davis. He stands tall once more. Yeah, you know, just Carrick Davis, one so one game played in his uh army clear, but it was a shutout. So, you know, Carrick Davis, you know. Showing, you know, could have got more chance potentially, but I'm not, I'm not one to judge Derek Schooley. Hey, Derek Schooley seemed impressed with his play thus far in this game. So, I mean, it really doesn't matter, you know. As the faceoff is back down on the zone, Brett Kiesel hoping for it, but Jillian Thompson will skate it out. Get out in front to Kiesel and another save that's sticked aside by Carrick Davis. Once again, thanks everybody for tuning in here on Colonial Sports Network. You follow along with this game here on the YouTube, and of course. Our Twitter at RMU underscore CSN. And follow us on Twitter, John, right? Tyler A. Gallo and CSN underscore Hannah. Why not? We're plugging everybody here. Here's Jamison down low. Shot missed just wide. Or Lawson, excuse me, that's Jeff Lawson. Thompson Ripper from the point, saved by Marzina. Hoping to get it out. Nick Lalonde. He's held off by Jacob from on the bench. And uh, I, lo I love that Jacob is wearing, is that a Z or a 2? And yes. tape on the back of his jersey. Uh, it could be either, honestly. Tyler. What a vest that is, that's for sure. That is impressive. Blazik, who is a goal scorer today, gets it across here. Open for a chance in front. Controlled down low by Maggie Legu. Played here a couple years ago. The women's hockey team. He's moved on to the PHF. And now Tang Grady. That's a nice move. A little bit off sides. Maybe there was Jacob. Andros, shot, sticked away. That was earmarked for the top left corner of the net, John. Yeah, I mean, you mentioned the uh, uh, offsides. Looks like the rest is fall, but we'll see a little bit. Yeah. We saw, we saw earlier, I think it was Nick Lund was going for a uh, slash. But, uh, Tyler, you know, we can't really show it right now, but we are joined right now by Iceberg. How are you doing? Iceberg is so happy to be here today. I'll, I'll, tr I'll translate for him, okay. you know. And, uh, I mean, what is it? how good is this event? I mean, just awesome, right? He's, he's happy to see all the people here. That's the best I can. It's the best I can do here. But thank you so much for coming up here with this iceberg, and we'll see you. Right, we'll see you later. Face off, one back. Ollie fakes a slapper, and it's intercepted by Gavin Goulash. And here he comes, moving past him. And alone, shot, save, kicked out, and Ollie will take it away. Ollie posting in a legend of the Bangladesh Hockey League. 
Let's get it out. He's got that jean vest. That's I love that. I love that they're wearing that out there. Here's Nate Handrahan to Goulash. Goulash with a nice little stick move. Shot by Jamison goes just wide. Jamison been pretty vocal on Twitter during his uh, during this whole ordeal. So here's Ollie ahead. Ollie looking for a shot. Pass in front. Instead, Jillian Thompson will say, not -uh, on, take it away. Now Steve Mears down low. Pass in front. There's a shot. Oh, wow. Just wide. Nearly an impressive chance on the ice there. Gavin Goulash in on Marzino. Oh, what a goal. He undresses him. That was amazing. Light, light, you know, light, yeah. All right, if it's going to happen now, Ryan Malone needs to pick it up. He's had a rough game out there today, John. Yeah, all the NHLers have, really. I haven't, I mean, Apart from a nuts, but I haven't seen much. Chimetta dangles around. Pirate Air pass in front again. Rebound. Poke checked away. Still a scramble for it in front. They can't get to it. Flipped out of the zone. And here's TK. Two on one with Ryan Malone once again. He's going to look for the shot. Saved by Davis. That's all we've said tonight on the shots to him. Chimetta. Nice little move to get past the pair. And here come the alumni. Two on one developing their way. Friedman. In front, Jamison shot, score! Brendan Jamison makes it 6-1. to one. Travis Marzino was looking to shot all the way and was not expecting that pass whatsoever. And RMU alumni are just running away with this game. Really nothing more you can say about it. Yeah, I think, you know, RMU just 5-1 right now. 5.45 left in this first period, you know. It doesn't really matter what the score is at the end of the day. Oh, yeah. Everyone's having fun, but uh, it's always nice to see the quote-unquote hometown guys get the win. Yeah, that's true. That's for sure. And we're moving forward here. Chevetta intercepted there by Ryan Malone. Bugsy brings it forward. He'll try to get some moves in and maybe gets the, the celebs back in this game. Bugsy drops it back to Armstrong, back to Bugsy, and he missed the net. So here's Colby Armstrong. Fires it back to the point. It's a shot. Nice save. Rebound in front, not corralled. Rebound again, and Carrick Davis makes the save. Steve Monteleone with a nice shot from the point. He's wearing 18. He listed as number four for wearing 18 today. And just an update, uh, RMU soccer has fallen in the first round of the Horizon League playoffs. one nothing to Milwaukee. Uh, so, you know, a good overall season for them compared to last year where they, again, only scored one goal, but... Unfortunately, just wasn't able to get it done and learn a counter. That's right. And I was going to, I said Ryan Malone was a Stanley Cup champion. I meant Art Ross. That's why I had a nice glove save. There's the glove love from Carrick Davis again. We have a score currently 5 to 1. I believe 5 to 1, or is it 6 to 1? It's 5 to 1. Right five, now. Yeah, yeah, 5 to 1 with a little over four minutes remaining in the first half. I wonder what theatrics they have planned for the halftime show. Who knows? TK wins face off back to Monteleone, who shoots it and it's directed towards the corner. And the old 2-9er on the blue line is going to fire it down low. Chris Mack, I believe that is. No, that's Jamie Hunt. Jamie Hunt back to TK. Across to Phil Bork. Bork. Bork looks like he hasn't lost his... No, that's right. There's a shot just wide. Good redirect in front by TK. Could not get it in. Kennedy back to Bork. Bork corrals it. Here's Monte Leon across. And it's stick checked away at center ice by Josh Jones. Here's Jamie Hunt. Hunt with that white helmet. Moves in. He's got a head of steam, but instead plays it into the corner where Wayson Rice hopes to play it out. She'll play it to Kirsten Welsh, two former teammates, that's for sure. Jamie Hunt across the crease. Here's a shot. Score! And that is Colby Armstrong in front, burying one. A nice pass from Jamie Hunt, and it's 5 to 2. Colby Armstrong showing why he has over uh, 200. And you know Great what? Carrick Davis has been just impressive out there. That goal was tough to stop. Again, some of these goals are tough to stop, except for the one where Travis Marzina got undressed by Gavin Goulash. Yeah, Goulash, uh, you mentioned him again. Uh, five career points, only one. Oh, it's been he's, still, he's still here at RMU. Come on, Colonna Sports Center. And 
Falling on the bear. Here's Jacob with a shot. Oh, what a goal! And it's 5 3. Jacob Ardell with one of the more impressive moves you're going to see out there. Falling down on defense was Ali Bear. And, all and he throws his stick across the entire ice. He's going to high fire everybody and pump up the crowd. Here he comes. The bench guys have done me you know, twice now. Throw the stick at their own goalie. One was just trying to stop a goal. One was just celebrating. I mean, that that was something. You also have to wonder if this crowd came to you know, if this was an actual game, would he challenge the goalie in our parents? It looked like uh, Ollie or Jacob was all up in his business. But, uh, nope. Well, it's 5-3 now. So here's Denny Urban looking for an answer. Intercepted away. Skated out by Tangrady. Eric Tangrady with a little speed here. Burst of it. We'll try to drop it back. Tango says on the back of his jersey. Knocked down by Denny Urban. And here come the alumni. Two on one developing. Zach Lynch and Denny Urban with Jacob all alone with him. Tries to go down. as a shot and it goes wide. Joining late was Jessica Gazzola. Could not get the shot on net. Here comes Jacob with his classic... You know, red cowboy hat and red gloves. And number Z, too. Number Z, number two, nobody knows. He's not wearing his, his Flames jersey he normally wears. He's wearing the, the jersey, of course, that he was supplied to for the uh, Celebrity Classic. Celebrity face-off, whatever you want to call it. Danny Urban skating it down. He's got the Pirate Parrot to beat. He does. In front, wide open, score, Ashley Veshi. And it is Six to three alumni extend their lead. You know, you really can't blame the fan there. He's obviously, you know, uh, kicking himself right on. You can't blame him. No, you can't. I've been, I've been a mascot for, you know, I had a celebrity for a car wash out the mascot for. You can barely see out of that yeah. thing. So it's a I, miracle. I don't blame him whatsoever. It's a miracle that he's even skating out there. And as well as he is, so, you know. I wonder if they'll unmask him by the end of this. Who knows? So here's Ollie. I'd love it if, you know, Lemieux or Crosby, somebody under that. Uh... It's got to be someone involved with RMU, that's for sure. So Nolan Schaefer brings it out. Up forward to Blazik. Misses Veshi, but she just scored that goal, so I don't think she's too mad about that. She has it again in front. Backhander save Marzino. Rebound, and they score. Or no, they don't. Did they score there? I believe that went in, and they'll just let the clock run down. So I believe there's a goal. Yeah, Ashley Veshi buries another goal, and it's seven to three. Yeah, seven or eight to three, John. I'm hard to keep track. Seven to three right now at the end of the first period. First half, first whatever you want to call it. Uh, but, you know, it's just great. This is the yeah, hockey again. Uh, great hockey again. Well, thank you again for tuning in for the first period. Of course, we'll be back for the second one. We'll come back just a little five minutes. We'll uh, – Go dark, let us collect ourselves, and we'll be back in just a moment here on Colonial Sports Network.
And we are back. Yeah, we're back, John. That's right. Back for the second half of this game. Brett Keese will take in the opening in the second period as the celebs try to get back in this one, John. Yeah, I mean, rough first half. I mean, oh, we got a fight. Oh, Blazik and Kiesel. No way. This is just incredible. And we'll see it goes down. Kiesel's got about five inches on him. And look at this fight. Kiesel and them are just pushing back and forth. And he's just toying with them now. Look at this. Fear the beard. And they hug it out. I mean, that was awesome. I mean, you know, celebrity hockey. And it's like when uh, John Scott, or Patrick Kane fought John Scott in, what was that? Uh, we also the game? Nashville All-Star game. Yeah. When uh, uh, John Scott got to the end, yeah. I believe. Yeah. But, uh, you know, and neither sent to the box. So we'll see what happens again on this face-off. But, uh, yeah. Here it goes. And no, they actually. Not quite. We have an actual face off. Yeah, they dropped the puck again this time. Brought into the zone. Behind the net, Nolan Schaefer will take the play from Carrick Davis. Schaefer begins the rush, fires it forward. Taken again out of the zone by Jeff Lawson. And here's Ashley Vetti. She scored earlier. Actually, two goals. Kiesel begins the rush on the other side. Now here's Ryan Malone. He's got two men to beat. Fakes a shot. Will skate it behind the net. Loses the puck. Nolan Schaefer. We always rock solid on defense. Begins the uh, offensive. And here come the alumni, two on one. Blazik and Veshi. Veshi looking for the hat trick. She shoots at a save by Marzina. And he'll cover. I think that was more of an accident there. He yeah. wanted to get that out of his pants, but uh, no luck there. He's still stuck under there. Marzina's played well despite the seven goals he's allowed, that's for sure. I mean, I'd like to see me or you trying. Yeah. My I played goalie once, allowing eleven goals. John, come on, give me my just do. I'm undefeated as a goalie in my life. So here's Josh gets off the initial goal scorer in this game. We we'll get it to Mirzi. Brianna McLaughlin has it. Pass in front, and so she did not switch sides for the second half of this period. Lost it there at center ice. That was awesome. Ian McLean almost take out. Maggie Le Legue made a nice little shout as she was at center ice. Here come the alumni. Hand your hand drops it back to Lalonde. Lalonde hoping for a chance in front. And there's Legue with the goal. And it's 8-3. to three. So she makes up for the uh, center ice problems by scoring a goal. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, just um, eight to three now, and you know, hey, all you need is a field goal and a safety to come back in this game if you're the celebrities. It can be done eight three. With, I don't think technically a score got me, but uh, yeah, I don't know. So there's Jacob who scored a beautiful goal earlier. That's a nice move. Here's a chance and a save. Big stop there by Carrick Davis again. Hands her hand begins the offensive again. Flips it past the old two-niner. Nick Lalonde wraps it around. You can bid on a round of golf with the old two-niner at the uh, auction, of course. Logan Biddle on the blue line. Playing against his, his uh, wife, who is currently right there. <laughs> they didn't get into a fight yet. Yeah, but... that would have been just impressive. So here's Josh Getzoff moving in off the pipe and wide. Josh Getzoff looks like he's always played hockey. I mean, I, I know he played hockey growing up in the Philadelphia area. Talked to him a little bit about it. Looks like he's not missed a step since his high school days. Lalonde, waiting, waiting, pass across, save Marzina. No goal. I believe that hit the post. Or Marzina made a big save. Monteleone, pass Friedman. Yeah, wide open net there for Kulash. He was looking for his second after he completely, uh, you know, stole the jock strap from Marzina. The yeah, there. that was crazy. So I'm not sure who's wearing 24 for the uh, oh, celebrity team, not listed. Chris Mack is currently out there as well. You know, we haven't seen uh, get Do Ross Dottie or Andrew Stocky out there in a long time. And uh, I'd also like to put out someone we haven't seen. There seems to be a lack of green on the bench there for the uh, All-Stars. Yeah, looks like the parent has retired after the first period. Drop back by Tangrady. TK waiting, waiting, and holding behind the net. Back to the point, held along and taken out of the zone by 
a no-name man. Jamison moves it forward. He's in alone. Tangrady with hoping to come back. Here's the move, and a stick is just destroyed out of Tangrady's hand. I don't know who by who, but Freeman has it behind the net. Tries to pass in front. It's behind. Jamison holding on to it. Back towards the point. Kirsten Welsh fakes a slapper. I don't know if Chris Monteleone wanted to block that. Uh, I mean, in a game, Welsh has there's no chance that Welsh doesn't explode yeah. there. But uh, obviously the celebs. There's a shot by Jamison, and oh, what a wrister! He scores, and that's nine. Count them nine to three. The alumni have scored the Ovech trick. Yeah, just a beautiful shot there. You know, obviously. Uh, Good shot. Yeah, just a nice shot. Really, all you can say about it. It's all. So, I hope another face off again. With just over 24 minutes remaining here. There is Tank Brady. Gets it across to Jamie Hunt. Hunt to TK. Kenny tries to do a little move, but can't. Hey, Tyler, and they'll move the other way. What's that? Right Who's that? The Atlanta Thrashers. The one and the only Atlanta Thrashers. The uh, Atlanta sports curse has been broken, by the way, by the Braves of their World Series championship this year. But yeah, it's nice to see some of these NHLers out there. Moving forward, Tangrady gets past Kirsten Welsh. Shot blocked. And they'll move it out. Kirsten Welsh showing why she was a great defender for RMU. Uh, played the Connecticut Whale. Well, yeah, sorry, not, uh, Megan, you did. Sorry about that. Jamie Hunt, one game played in the NHL with the Washington Capitals back in 06 07. He passes the long way to Tyler Kennedy into the zone. Kennedy centers in front but can't get to it. On the point, Eric Tangrady. All the time in the world down low, tipped in front. Hunt can't put it home. Kennedy back to Tangrady. Looking, firing, saved by Davis, directed into the corner. Tyler Kennedy back to the point. Here's Armstrong. Armstrong with a nice move past Juvetto. Didn't really try there. Shot safe. Davis rebound. Another save by Carrick Davis, who is going to cover. Maybe. No, it's taken out. Jamie Hunt looking for the pass in front by from Armstrong. Can't. Back across. Shot by Kennedy. Does not go. And the celebrities just can't seem to get anything in. I mean, this is their big NHL line out there with... Uh, Who have know, been out there for the past, like, five minutes. <laughs> I'm pretty Jamie sure. Jamie Hunt's out there. Obviously, the former thrasher, Colby Armstrong. Uh, <laughs> yeah. TK had a wide open net to shoot at. Held on to it and missed wide. And that's just how this has gone. And now here's a two-on-one against only developing. Zach Lynch just plays it into the corner. I'm not going to try to start at that one. As they maybe try to get the celebrities back in. Here's Jacob ahead again. The move. And scores! Oh, wow! How that yeah, what? Uh, maybe the net was off just a smidge there. But Jacob, what a goal. What a great outlet pass, too, to get yeah. him open. Uh, yeah. So you have to wonder if, if uh, Zach Lynch, you know, sort of kicking himself there. Just <laughs> so, yeah, just playing it out of the court. That, um, Honestly, play. they're up by five. I don't think he cares. You never know. Never know, John. That's right. That's it's nine to four with twenty one forty five remaining here in the second. I wonder what they have planned for after. We'll be here with you for that, of course. And here comes Brett Kiesel. They're gonna let him go. Kiesel shot goes wide. Oh, he was rumbling through there. I'm waiting for Brett Kiesel to try in Michigan. I think he can. Here's Ollie on the point. The Across the bench, the... defensive duo. That's impressive. Best of all, redirected save by Davis, and he'll direct it into the corner. A nice little Crosby painting over there in the in the left hand corner. I, I just noticed that. Oh yeah, uh, it looks like uh, who's that down there with him? Um, I'm not sure. Marty Golosi. Yeah, yeah. Looks like Marty Golosi's down there with him. So Marty Golosi's friend of the channel. Of course, Brett Kiesel's gonna go in again. Here's a chance. Kiesel moves it and can't get it. The rebound saved by Davis. They <laughs> this Kiesel score. This place is erupt. I think they're gonna let him. I think they gotta let him score. This place has been up in arm all game. They've been happy this year. Again, all hoping. Is that Ron Hextall up in the GM office too? It might be. Maybe uh, for uh, you know when Crosby's out, with COVID again. Yeah. Well, who knows if it's COVID or if it's gonna be a wrist injury? Penguins dealing with their issues, of course. Blazik controlling with Jacob behind the net. I wonder if we will pull out any you know happenstances here for Jacob. We know how. It, he likes to play. Here's Ryan Malone. 
Nolan Schaefer playing defense not, not strongly. Nice move by Malone. Here's the move and a save by Davis, who has just been unreal. Unreal against especially the NHL talent because uh, I don't believe they have a goal yet for the NHLers. Yeah, they, I, don't, I believe jo it was, so it was Josh gets off and two from Jacob, and the other one might have been an NHL goal, but who knows. Malone across the old two-niner, and Davis makes another save. And that's not just anyone, my friend. That's Phil Bork who had that shot. Yeah, and Phil Bork, despite his age, looks like, you know, he just hung up the skates. Yeah, I mean, the old and the old two-niner is, you know... Uh, it's subjective. It, it actually looks like uh, he's wearing his old uh, penguin pants. It's awesome. With the skull on him, so, you know... I guess get some use out as I have to retire. And so it looks like we have a penalty. A penalty on, uh, looks like it's going to be Blazik, who's in the box. Not sure for what. Maybe a trip? Who knows? Blazik is not happy in the box, let me tell you. Yeah, so uh, see how they do on this power play. It starts. Music is playing while the game's going on. Is this is their best chance to capitalize with 19 minutes remaining? In the second, in the second, yeah. I'm shocked they don't have any NHL oh, except oh. for the old. And uh, big laugh is the penalty for Blazik is trying too hard in the charity game. Yeah. So I don't, I don't think that one's in the NHL book, but uh, could be. I believe it's Rule 419C, and then you got to go to the subsection four uh, to find it. Yeah. I, I, I skipped that page, so, okay. you know. Here's Andros, hoping for a shot, save Davis. Off of his stick into the corner on the near side. In front, oh, nearly a chance there. Gets off control here. Jessica Gazzola and Josh gets off, takes it away from her, and he's pinned on the boards in the corner, holding onto it. Still stolen out there by Andros. Back to Phil Bork. Is he going to unload? He does. He shoots. It's tip wide. No namer in front. <laughs> Goes wide. So, that was Derek Scully's number, both in college and uh, you know when he played a uh, couple years pro. In the East yeah, with the uh, Huntington Blizzard. Yeah, Huntington Blizzard, and he played a couple with the Peoria Rivermen at the SP SPHL. Here's the old two niner pass wide. Phil Bork has been logging just yeoman's minutes out here. He's been out for like six minutes, and it passes someone who's getting off the ice. And here come the alumni. Ashley Vesey from Maggie Legue. Here's Logan Biddle. Biddle trying to do the move. Current coach with Penn's Elite. Former assistant coach of men's hockey, of course. And here's Brianne McLaughlin, his counterpart, on a breakaway. In on Carrick Davis. She shoots and a save. So she may know how to stop them, but doesn't know quite how to score them quite yet. Well, I'm not, I'm, I'm not Colby. Colby's right next to me. Come on. Here's Kirsten Welsh. Hoping to come out as Marzina and a wide open net to shoot at. And Kirsten Welsh scores. And it's 10, count them, 10 goals for the alumni team. Yeah, Marzina just a bit too aggressive there. Yeah, just a little bit aggressive. Here's a chance now for Tangrady. Behind his own blue line, coming near the near side. Puck goes all the way down low into the left-hand corner. Out to play it is Davis. 10-4. So, uh, touchdown without a field goal will tie this game up. That was a nice move by Legu to get Marzina out of the net. Tangrady. Long pass, hoping for Colby Armstrong. Oh, yeah, so Armstrong was the only NHL to score a goal today. Okay, and, uh, you know, Colby Armstrong, guess what? What's that? Play for the... He's, play for the Thrashers. They don't exist anymore, John. I know you're trying to get your references in today. What? Are you signed to their uh, promotional team or something? So, Tangerady has it in front. The move and a save again by Carrick Davis. I'm shocked he hasn't gotten a penalty for trying too hard in the charity game. But maybe he's not trying too hard. Maybe they're just going right to him. Who knows? Great performance from him tonight, nonetheless. Yeah, it looked like uh, Maggie LeGue there. A bit scared to touch it in case of icing, but she hasn't paid attention that there's been no icing called this entire game. There's been no offsides called either. So, well, it looks like Iceberg's on the bench now, John. Yes, it, yes it does. I, 
I completely missed it. He sort of blended in. With the <laughs> he was upstairs with us, and he's a very notorious mascot. It's hard to miss him, and he's enjoying this event. I'm a great translator of mascot speak, so. I still haven't seen Robo, by the way. So. I don't know if he's here. I don't know if he's here. Behind the net, Colby Armstrong in front. Shot by Ke uh not Kiesel. He's about the same size as Kiesel right there in front. That's Chris Mack. And Chris Mack just completely wiped out in front of the net. Maggie Legue, two on one now with Brendan Jameson. Monteleone takes Jameson instead, and the shot is stopped and turned away by Travis Marzina. Of course, Travis Marzina on radio, the X radio, of course. And a score right there. Maggie Legue rips it. Right through Marzina there. And, uh, was that Welsh or Legue who scored there? Uh, that was Welsh. Yeah. Women's hockey teammates really, you know, making making that connection known. Yeah, absolutely. Eleven to four is your score with fourteen minutes and twenty seconds remaining. <laughs> just impressive. I mean, it's charity, but just shows how good some of these army players are and were in their career. A long, long shot that by uh, the on the bench crew on defense. I wonder at what point uh, Davis has to start trying, you know, score some goalie goals. Yeah, we'll see. It's they're up by seven, so he doesn't have to worry about them tying the game. Here's Oli. Nice move. Look at that stick tape, by the way. Reminds me of Nikita Gusev's. Do you see that tape over there, John? It's terrible. It's so horrible. It's not as good as Gusev's, but man. That was as bad as uh, I think it's Danny Ben. I think it is with the stars who just like. Oh, through oh. the legs and a save by Davis. He's not letting these NHLers have anything as Tyler Kennedy just attempted the hurdle. Only back to Jacob. Those long flowing locks pass forward. Which one? Both of them. Got a love flow on that. Mac across to TK, who just completely whiffs the shot, crashes into the boards, and retires from hockey completely. Oh, wait, he already is retired. Never mind. You know, a bit of a. Uh, you know, showing my youngness, Tyler. Yeah. Uh, I used, I'm a big Sabres fan. Yeah. So I used to get uh, Tim and Tyler Kennedy mixed okay. up all the time. Kennedy off the pipe and out. And here's Jacob. Two goals today. Two of the four. He's got 50% of the goals today for the uh, celebrity team. He'll skate it forward again looking for the hattie. Will he throw the hat off if he scores here? He tries the beautiful move and can't get in in front. Shot by Hunt, and a glove save from Carrick Davis, and he's being roughed up, and he'll steal it. Jacob, back to Oli on the point. Pa slap pass across to Chris Mack. Down low is TK. Tyler Kennedy. TK's still on the ice. He's been out there for – Excuse me, Jamie seems Hunt. Like, three, it seems like three minutes out now for Tyler Kennedy. TK with a nice move, and it's poke checked away by Gavin Goulash. Back to the point. There's a shot. Stick aside by Carrick Davis, who, I mean, it's not letting them have anything. And here come the alumni. Friedman gets past Jacob. Shot save. And he'll cover and play it out. Jamie Hunt. Again with the Washington Capitals. This is the team he played his lone NHL game with. He gets by him. It's a two-on-one. Hunt across the Kiesel. Can't get it saved. Iceberg hoping for the shot, and he can't get to it either. If one of Iceberg or Brett Kiesel scores, everybody. Yeah. And I, th I think if Phil Bork scores, that would be awesome. There's still 11 minutes left, so we'll see what happens. Brett Kiesel absolutely clotheslines Wason Rice. And that wasn't as, as rough as I said it was. He sort of just ran into her. I mean, I don't blame Brett Kiesel. He's so tall. Wayson dangling in front, can't get to a nice setup pass from Friedman. Here's Schaefer, backhander save, rebound behind the net. Iceberg will take it away. Iceberg is crushed by Nolan Schaefer. <laughs> Nolan Schaefer, you know, no uh, stranger to the big body checks in his career. And Brett Kiesel showing uh, somebody the business over Brett there. Brett Kiesel the throws, I believe that's, uh, oh, yeah, no, that was plays it into the bench. I thought it was a number nine. Oh, yeah. Shavetta gets thrown into the bench. Pass across. Wide open is Wasted Rice. She shoots off the post on the outside of it. The old 2 niner begins to skate out. Probably open for Kiesel. 
and he gets it to him. Nolan Schaefer is going to let him go. Here comes Brett Kiesel with one hand. Shot saved by Davis. And what an attempt. He lost his stick. Even trying to let the puck go in. They can't score. I, they're going to let Kiesel score at some point. They got to. They've got to. Long pass across to Friedman. Friedman played from 2012 to 16 on RMU just before our time here. And here come the celebrities. They'll begin to take it out. Iceberg in a three on one with Guidotti. Shot tip wide. Iceberg, I think, is going to try to score in front, but instead, Poke checked out, and Logan Biddle has it. Intercepted. Here's Guidotti. Pass in front to 24, shoots just wide. I don't know who 24 is, but he looks pretty good out there. Not sure quite yet. Uh, you know, been a couple lineup changes before the puck was dropped, and, you know, both teams have a 24 with no uh, name, but we obviously... We know, we know Handrahan is 24. So here's Colby Armstrong, and the NHL line is going to start to filter back out there. Tangrady on the side of the net. Pass in front to Gadotti. Save Davis. It is unbelievable. The stack in the pads. Uh, There's yeah. a reason his only game in an RMU history was a shutout. You know, Jeff Friedman. Davis. Friedman scores. Nice pet up pass in front there by Nick Chavetta. The number nine connects to game, Tyler. Nine, nine, and it's 12 to four. But uh, what I was going to say about the character. He's using the old uh, ECHL classic. Not ECHL, ESPA is the show. Yeah. East for EA Hockey League, you know, he's smacking the pack. When in goal. doubt, down exit out. Game will continue here. Eight minutes and 30 seconds remaining as alumni need it 12 to 4. Bram McLaughlin controls along the blue line. Here's. And in the zone, pass across to Ryan Malone. Malone in front, Andros scores. And the celebrities finally bury one past Carrick Davis. It is 12 to 5. So, Tyler, I was going to ask you, you know, when, this, when the preseason starts, or when the preseason starts, what's your favorite RMU hockey goal? It's going to be hard. It's hard for me to determine which one it is. You know, I really love, uh, I think Darcy Walsh's overtime winner against Niagara last year was one of my favorites. But I think the favorite moment that I have, and I posted about it on my Twitter, was one of the calls I was on for. Uh, it was a uh, Nick Perkusic overtime winner against RIT to snap like a six or seven game losing streak. And it was awesome. Yeah, I was in the crowd for that game because uh, my buddy from RIT came down. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, it was just a wild atmosphere. Yeah. RIT brought. The Always team. travels well. RIT Always travels, travels well. You know, Loud fans, uh, but you know that has to be up there too. You know, also on the women's team. Yeah. Just, you know. Oh, I gotta do my women's one too. I think uh, being on the call for Jason Gebhardt's all-time leading score, and there's Colby Armstrong. Adam Colby. He's done. It. He's done it, yeah. <laughs> Second goal of the game for the former Atlanta Thrasher. But as I was gonna say, you know, Jason Gebhardt snapped. The uh, all-time leading scorer against the um, against Lindenwood a couple years ago. That was going to be on the call. For, I was on the caller. Aaron Owen Kreps was on the broadcast for that game. He called it, and that's where that he's done it came from. Technically, it was she's done it. Yeah. But. Ryan Malone with a nice little move. He shoots and scores. Oh, baby, what a goal! And it's 12-7. And don't go anywhere because they're coming back. There's still six and a half minutes left. They cut the lead more than a half. It's now 12. Five goals left, and if Brett Kiesel's going to score, they need to capitalize now. Yeah, definitely have the momentum on their side right now. But uh, just a great play there by Malone. Just a great snipe. Yeah, I mean, that shows how good he was during his career. He won the Art Ross for a reason. Face off one. Moved in the zone. Shot saved Marzina. Taken away here by Tang Grady. Up to Malone. I think they're just going to leave the NHL guys out there for the rest of the game. Plus, uh, Jacob and Brianna Glockland. Jacob looking for the hat trick. Pass out low and scores. Aaron Tangrady with the connection with Jacob. And this game is within four goals. The NHL players now showing why they were NHL players, Tyler. Logan Biddle is now a minus five in the last two minutes. So, I'm going to say it's my Yeah, well... 
I gotta think. I gotta think that um, who's gonna get the bragging rights in this game after it's over between the and the Biddle family? Shot by Malone. Oh, nearly went in. <laughs> it was nearly the ninth goal of the game. I mean, as uh, you know, uh, Michael Scott once said, "You miss one hundred percent of the shots you don't take." That's right. Jamison hoping for a chance, but can't. He's flanked there by by Jacob. Jacob R down. Long pass. Colby Armstrong in alone on Carrick Davis. Rips it and scores. Oh my, what a shot. And it's 12 to 9, John, and this place is going nuts. Ev Getty Malkin. Oh. Oh. Chris Sabal Huey, what a legend. Yeah. Now let's see if the the announcer line can get anything. If let's see if the announcer line can get anything going. Here comes the old two niner on a breakaway. Phil Bork rips it. Saved by Davis. The rebound is covered. It might be loose and it's in. Phil Bork scores. <laughs> it is now 12-10, and they got to change those lines up, John. Yeah, I mean. You finally see some players going to the bench. Logan Fennell finally moving <laughs> to the bench. But, uh, oh, my gosh, John. Don't look now, but they're within two. Blink and you miss it. One back. So the announcer line gets something going here. Steve Mears has it. Judge gets off. In. Jacob gets by him, and there's a chance. Jacob with the nice hands. Does a little spin around, but gets it through. Couldn't get a shot off, though. Back to the point. The old 2-9er rips it wide. Behind the net in the corner. Look, you almost tentative to go after that puck after what's happened. And here comes Ashley Veshi the other way. Now it's a chance to become competitive with over three minutes remaining. Lalonde back to Veshi across the look, you, and it's intercepted. Or, no, it flubbed her stick a little bit. And uh, Jacob will try to steal it away from her with just two minutes and 56 seconds remaining in the second half. Or period. We still don't know. Yeah. 50-50 raffle being announced right now by Larry Snyder. Long pass ahead for nobody. But uh, what a goal by the old 2-9er. Never given up on the play. Josh gets off. Gets by Lalonde. Gets off. Moving in front. Shot saved Davis. The rebound is covered. Here's Lalonde moving it forward. And a lot of commotion off to our right-hand side. Is looks like we have found the 50 raffle winner. Wearing a, one of those green women's hockey jerseys. I'm shocked Iceberg hasn't gotten another chance out there. Pass in front. Veshi shoots it wide. Legu couldn't get to it. Two minutes remaining here in the second. Think about it, Tyler. Iceberg was out there for, what, five minutes on one shot? Yeah, that's true. Wasn't able to bury one, so you have to wonder. Brett Kiesel's out there now, and maybe it's his chance. Flipped ahead. Here's TK hoping to make it 12 11. In on a breakaway. Save by Carrick Davis. Standing tall to keep it a 12 10 game. Here comes Ollie. Ollie moving it forward. He's got a head of steam. He's got TK with him. Pass in front. Scores and it's 12 11. 30 seconds left. Don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. I'm to my voice just announcing this game. But man, one more goal left to get. Are they going to stack the box with NHL players out there? NHL players and Kiesel is what it looks like, actually. Timeout. And this clock will stop. So it looks like the uh, the celebrities have taken a timeout, and we will take a small seconds. Thanks for tuning in thus far.
Welcome back here on Colonial Sports Network. Again, you can follow along with us on colonialsportsnetwork.com at RMU underscore CSN. And of course, at the, the, I mean, also on Colonial Sports Network on Instagram. That's what I was looking for. Empty net for the celebrity team as they try to move it forward, but down one goal. Tyler Kennedy, head of steam, back to the point. Here's Colby Armstrong shooting, tipped in front, nearly in. McLaughlin tried to stuff it down low. She did not. Looks like it's uh, Tang Grady, Tyler Kennedy, Brett Kiesel, Brand McLaughlin, uh, Ryan Malone, and Colby Armstrong are out there. So Really to... Oh, nearly in, and that's going to kill some time off the remainder of this game. Tang Grady fighting hard to get back to it. They got their NHLers out there. We didn't see Sean Sweesham today, though. No, Sean Sweesham must have been up. Tips forward. McLaughlin has it. They've got a head of steam here. In front, Kiesel. Oh, nearly the equalizer. It's Ryan Malone behind the net. 25 remaining. Pass in front, no good. Kiesel, or uh, excuse me, Tangrady keeps it in. Pass way across the TK. 16 seconds remaining. Pass back to the point. Colby Armstrong rips it wide, and that should do it unless they get one more. One more chance. Pass across. Tyler Kennedy down low, five seconds remaining. Down to the wire here. Flipped in front. Brett Kiesel does not get it, and that will do it for the celebrity game. Final score opening 12 to 11. As love. I think I was. And 12-11 uh, final score. Of the and wow, well, they came winning goal. I don't even know who it belongs to. Um, uh, yeah, I mean. Thanks again, everybody, for tuning in today. If we have, we, we're going to go to break for a little bit and come back and wrap up what the game was and how much it Thanks again for tuning in. It's been Tyler Gallo and John Hanna on Close Sports. We'll be back in just a second. So we have a yeah a dual sided shootout here, and um, well they say the same time, but there's nobody in net for Robert Morris. So Carrick Davis just said I'm out. <laughs> oh, Carrick Davis looks like he's getting a small drink of water before he. So we'll see how this goes. Yeah, dual sided shootout. I've never seen one of these. Um, so John, I'll let you uh, watch the this side. I'll go to this side. And there's Yep, of course, and Travis Marzino on the other side. So we'll see who goes first for the alumni. You know, Logan Biddle was over here. I doubt he goes first after being a minus eight in that last period. The last, like, five minutes. Yeah. Who are they going to choose to go first on either side? Unless, are they doing? I don't know. Their schoolie is announcing people to go. I don't, I'm not sure what's going on here. So we wait for this to happen. Oh. Here we go. I wonder if they're just going down the order. Yeah, they should be. Here's Schaefer is in. Through the legs and a save by Marzina. All right, so maybe we're not doing dual-sided here. So I'll, I'll just take care of it. So here comes Monte Leon. Moving in. In on the goalie. Shot save. Jillian Thompson, nobody scored yet. Moving in on her side. And, and she will hit the post. So here's Steve Mears going on his side. Mears takes it in. Mears on Davis. And save. Ali A. Bear is going to take it up. Goes to center ice. A. Bear in on Marzina. Does a move and misses. Here's Malone, and let's see what he has in store. Malone, and in the shootout. Backhander and scores. That was nice. Here's Kirsten Welsh. A loud announcement by Larry for her. Tries to side, just poke checked away. 
So here's Chris Mack. It's only one. It's one nothing in favor of these celebrities. I think they got the leg up in this scenario. Mack scores. Two nothing. Waste and Rice. See what she's got up her sleeve here. Moves in on Marzina. Does a little move. Nice move and scores. Now here is Andros moving in. Nice save by Davis. Oh, he scored. Logan Biddle. I'm losing track of everybody. Save. What's that? Uh, sorry to interrupt the broadcast, but uh, you have to think. A lot of these are new players. Yeah. Haven't been around because the Atlantic Hockey just added the shootout right. Right. two, three years ago. So. Right. Scores. Armstrong. Here's Friedman on the other side. Scores. Oh, no. Off the post. This is going way too fast for my... Uh, what a, what a try there. Oh, what a goal by Shavetta. And Jamie Hunt scores. That's right. Nick Lalonde moving in. See what he's got planned. Fakes it, fakes it through the legs. Can't get to it. That's who it was. There we go. Michael Gershon moving in. Fakes it, takes it, misses. Josh Jones, three goals up to the six in his Columbus career. Fakes it. Right. Oh, backhander there, John. What a goal. Moved it. Andros already went, Larry. Larry. <laughs> So here's Goulash. Gets a bit of a round of applause here. Moving in on Marcina. Little flip and scores. That was a nice move. Jamie Hunt already went. Phil Bork should. Here comes the old two niner. Let's see how he goes here. Phil Bork. Oh, he's doing the puck on a string. Fakes it, puts it back, and Carrick Davis is like, get that out of here. You think the old 2 the shootout I don't know. No way. No, he didn't play until, I think the shootout was adopted, what, 2003, 2004? One of those years. Ripper by Legue is turned aside. Scores. Well, Martina just announced to take the shootout, but uh, not quite. Brianna McLaughlin. Here comes McLaughlin. Matt Geica going in on the other side. McLaughlin does not score. And here's Geica on his side. Geica moving in. Scores! Matt Geica! And look at the selly by Matt Geica. So here's TK moving in on his goal. What has TK got up his sleeve? I don't even know what the score in the shootout Backhander is. Backhander through the legs. Oh! What a goal by TK! Other way. Gazzola moving in. Save by Marzina. First save we've had in like 10 minutes. Gets off. Gets no off. Score. That's right. All the way back in the first half. Fakes and scores. Josh gets off. Here's Ashley Vesey. Flips it up on her stick. Let's see what she does. Fakes it. Oh, poke checked away by Marzina. Ross Gidotti. Jameson going on the other side. I'll let you watch who they're going at the same time. Oh, off the post and misses and get done. All right. Here comes Brett Kiesel. What does he have for us in the shootout? Moving in very slowly. Brett Kiesel, fear the beard. Let's see if Carrick fears the beard. Save. Jeff Lawson going for the shot now. He's in, flips it up, smacks it, and doesn't go in. Ollie Poston in, Bangladesh hockey legend, coming in on the goal. Let's see what he's got. He's got the 
tries to flip it up on his stick and puts it wide. Yeah. Uh, goaltending coach, by the way, as Zach Lynch rips it wide. Sears Jacob, he had two goals today. Let's see what he's got now. He's in for his another epi. He's going in to shoot. Jacob, a nice move and save by Davis. He just went. Lynch already shot. Uh, Nolan Schaefer goes over to the penalty box to talk. So we'll see what goes on here. Looks Jesus like uh, hand hand, not quite uh, Zach Lynch, but wide. Andrew Stocky going on the other side, moving in very slowly. A methodical approach to this. Stocky save. It slams his stick on the ground. You know, Carrick Davis really. Here comes Iceberg. Gets a round of applause. Carrick Davis does a burpee out there. Loses the puck. Scores! Iceberg scores. Other way, Blazik. Iceberg does the Theo or the the Theo flurry out there. Blazik did not score. Danny Urban, formerly of the DEL. Danny Urban. Danny Urban moving in. Here's the move. Wide open scores. What a goal. We said that for almost all of them. And I believe that's going to be all for the shootout unless Pirate Parrot makes an appearance. That's all. Tim Benz is on the bench. Breakfast with Benz. And that'll do it, ladies and gentlemen. That has been your celebrity hockey game. What? To a lot. Yeah. Real here, Army hockey. <laughs> Standing ovation right now. They're getting from all the fans. And the stigma jersey and for Army hockey. So every little bit helps. And obviously, you know, still stream. Or still, uh, pretty sure the uh, raffles and auctions are still going on. Uh, yeah, that's right. But, you know, just a great atmosphere overall. Really an incredible event, and glad we could bring it to you guys here on YouTube and Colonial Sports Network. Again, you know, it's definitely one of the best moments we've had of this year. This celebrity game was impressive. All the stars and all the people you may recognize from Army Hockey issue, we're glad we could bring it to you here tonight. But for John Hanna, I've been Tyler Gallo, and everybody that's been working this broadcast here on Colonial Sports Network, we thank you for tuning in. Make sure you follow for the recap of this event on at RMU underscore CSN on Twitter and at ColonialSportsNetwork.com. And remember, hashtag save RMU. That's right. We'll see you next time, whenever it may be, on Colonial Sports Network. Thanks for tuning in.